Hey what is up everybody, I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be showing you where you can find all of the park medallions around Nuka World. Now this is to complete the questline Precious Medals for Nira and at the end you do get a special reward but do not worry I have not ruined any kind of story spoilers, I have left all of that out. Also guys, I would like to say that I have more Nuka World guides on my channel, so please make sure that you go over there, have a look, and I even have an awesome Han Solo easter egg in this DLC that I think most of you guys would very much enjoy. Anyhow, let's get on with this tutorial. So before we get into this guide, make sure that you please speak to Nira first, because if you do not, then you may not be able to actually complete this quest. If you collect the medallions, then you start it. So make sure that you start the quest, and then we'll go out hunting for these medallions. Okay, so the first location that you will need to go to for the first medallion is Nuka Galaxy. Now, if I just pull up my map really quick, I am very sorry for the darkness, but there you can see it is right above the left-hand side of the Galactic Zone. That is where you need to go to. Once here, we just want to head on in through the main entrance. Once inside, guys, we are going to need to navigate all the way through this little ride. Now, I'm not going to navigate all the way through as it can ruin some things, and also, it is just very long. So, make sure that you do just go through, kill all the robots, and yeah, I'll see you at the end. Now we're at the end of the ride, you will see that there is a couple of stairways to the exit and here on the right hand side is the park medallion. It's pretty much that simple, I'm sorry that I could have made it any more easier to actually follow, but yeah, I didn't want to ruin anything for you guys. Okay, on to medallion 2 and we do need to stick around the galactic zone as that's the next place we need to go. We need to actually locate vault -Tec. It is some kind of a showcase in which, you know, shows you what it's like to live in these vaults. And yeah, once you find it guys, it will be there just below the galactic zone. We want to go inside the building right here. Once inside, you are going to need to prepare yourself as there will be a heck of a lot of robots inside here. Anyhow, let's continue on through the right into this trippy looking vortex thing right here. Kill whatever robots are waiting to kill you and go inside the vault which is called Arcticus 1. Take a right down here and then another right at this hallway and we will need to pick lock a couple of doors down here, don't worry about them though. Go right again into this little nursery in which there will be a couple of codswift around here. Just kill them, make sure that you kick their ass and we're going to continue on through this little hallway. Until you see to the left of you, there is the exit to the vault and located to the right of that is the medallion dispenser. Just click A to activate it or X and take your medallion and now we're going to progress on to medallion number 3. The next medallion you are looking for is at the minecart coaster track right here in Dry Rock Gulch. I will pull up my map for all of you to see. I am very sorry that it's very dark on my map. It is a graphical glitch going on right now with the Nvidia graphics card. So again, I do have to apologize about that. But once you are in Dry Rock Gulch, just head towards this coaster area, jump over the little fence here, and we're going to head inside and get our medallion. Once inside, the door to the left is where you want to go, but it will be chained up, unfortunately. And you cannot do that little glitch where you throw the grenade through the window. We actually have to go all the way around this little area. There will be quite a couple of enemies here, and to be honest, at first, when I was a very low level, I thought they were very hard to kill, but once I leveled up quite a bit throughout this DLC, I found it very easy to kill them, so you should have no problem whatsoever. We want to continue following my footsteps. Just watch out for these cows once again as they do like to actually burst open with all the blood worms inside of them. Little shits. But yeah, we're gonna continue on down right here and up again and we will be at the very end of this little guide. And we want to turn right and then left and there you will see the chained up door in which the medallion dispenser is right to the right of it. We just want to get our medallion and let's get on to the next one. Next up we have the World of Refreshment medallion and I have to say this is probably the most easiest one out of the lot of them and I am going to pull up my map for all of you just in case you don't know where it is. There it is right there on my map 
and there is the dry rock gulch area where you just came from so yeah it's not far to the right once here we're going to locate the actual entrance in which you see now selling nuka cola quantum and hidden right here in the waiting line is the park medallion it is literally that simple i actually went inside looking all over for it and it was right there all along let's go on to our next medallion now at our second to last medallion we need to get to the kiddie kingdom and i've got to admit this one is another easy one to acquire but getting to the actual kiddie kingdom itself is a bit of a pain in the ass but there is right there on the map for all of you who don't know again i am very sorry about the graphical glitch once we enter into the kiddie kingdom there will be a lot of ghouls but kill them all and we're going to locate this ferris wheel up there that you just saw me point to go to the where i am at right now where you're looking at it through this little alleyway and right there is the park medallion for the ferris wheel just click a or x and get your medallion and we will move on to the last one that we need in our collection now this last medallion can be located in the Safari Adventure Zone and it's at the Cappy's Treehouse. Some of you guys may not know where this is so again I'm pulling up my map just one last time and uh, here's where the normal park would be. It is right to the north. Once here we want to go inside the Cappy's Treehouse maze, go right the way through, take a right, take a left, another right and then a left again. And we just kind of want to follow where I go. It's actually pretty simple to navigate around. It's mostly taking a lot of lefts, more than anything, to be honest. And uh, watch out, there will be a couple of gator claws in this little uh, uh, maze, I guess. So just watch out for that. Once at the very end, we want to just press the button to activate the little lift. It will go up, which gives us a very nice view of the whole area of this park, which is actually quite beautiful. We want to turn around. Go inside Cappy's treehouse and right there behind Bottle and Cap, pretty much doped out I guess, we have the last Pendallion Dispenser. And that is pretty much it guys. Once you have collected them all, just go and return all of the medallions to Nira in which she will give you a prize. But again, I will not show that. Anyway guys, thank you all for watching. I do hope this guide uh, helped you out. And if it did, please remember to leave a like. And until next time... I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya. I'm going to be showing you how you can cheat in the Nuker Arcade in order to get more coins and tokens and tickets to actually buy the things that you want.